I should try to do this. Hang on a second. I'm going to go live on Facebook too. Hang on a second. Got a lot going on here, huh? Yeah, I'm going to try. I'm just trying this all because this is really cool. I got some ideas. So I'm going to make sure that we're going. Just hang on a second. I might mute you guys. All right. All right. I think we're, I think we're good. And I think we're streaming. I hope we're streaming. I guess we'll know. I don't, I, I don't know if we do, we are, but it, it's good. If we are, this is awesome. Um, I'm going to just find out where you guys are. All right. Hopefully we're streaming and we're going to go live on Turfs Up Radio in just one second, guys. Make sure we are. Welcome. Hang on, guys. Something just happened. Hang on a minute. I got to find out what just happened. Why did this happen? Always, always something. Right away, right? Right away. Make sure we're online. Welcome to the only radio platform of its kind, dedicated to covering the green industry, bringing you the latest in industry news, products, services, and technology, and spotlighting the achievements of industry professionals around the world. Now for Turf's Up Radio's Weekend Review, here's Darren Gruner and Michael Gray. Welcome to... <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Turfs Up Radio's Week in Review. I'm your host, Aaron Gruner, and I am live in the Turfs Up Radio studios in always sunny West Palm Beach, Florida. And I'm live. We're live here on Facebook as well, guys. Uh, trying this out. I got a bunch. I got two of our top or three of our top contributors with us right on Facebook. How do you like my background, guys? Pretty cool. Listen, we're going to get to we're going to get to everybody. We got we got Eric, uh, the turf teacher. Eric Jones, You've got a new show coming up with Eric Jones, uh, and I'll tell you a little bit about that in a second. Uh, we, got, we got another landscape by Acme. He's going to be here today with us during the weekend review because he's going to be helping us with new products. You know what Turfs Up Radio is all about? We got Turfs Up Radio traffic on the turf, and we got products of the day. They're both going to help us out with that, those segments in just a, in just a few minutes. I, I urge you guys to hang on there. But I got Jeff Hester our vice president of contributions here with us for Turfs Up Radio, hanging in with us, weekend review. We're back. We're trying so many things, guys. This is pretty wild. Jeff, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? I'm hey, doing minute, don't great. Don't say anything because I got to make sure that your, your volumes are straight up. All right, I'm ready to go, buddy. What's going on, dude? I'm sitting here having a cup of coffee, enjoying this uh, chilly weather in New Jersey, 35 degrees today. That's all. Oh, God, I feel so sorry for you. Yeah. That, you know, I'm in my, my T-shirt. I'm getting ready to put on my, my bathing suit. I'm going to go out and hang out by the pool for the rest of the day because we had a couple of miserable days here in South Florida. And I showed you a picture. If you guys follow us on Facebook, you'll see, you could see that that's what I did. Oh, hang on a second. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's what I did. I, I, was, uh, I was out there in the water. I mean, we got floods. Remember, you saw that, right? And I had those mucks. I saw and the muck boots you had on. I had the mucks purchase. on. And, and I was thinking, I got to take these. I got to send them back to Jeff because there's no reason why I'm ever going to use them. Yeah. I, what do I need them in, this, in the sunny, in sunny Fort Lauderdale, Florida for any, for not, I don't need it. I don't need a four-wheel drive car, truck. I don't need mucks to go in any mud. I'm here in a beautiful sunny weather. And look what happens. It floods. And I swear to God, they were just high enough for me to walk to my car. And then, then when I had to park my car, I got stuck in the mud. Thank God I had the mucks. 
it got uh, me out of it. I told, I, was you, I told you to hang on to those and take them back to Florida with you. They'd come in handy. I'll tell you what, man, this is just absolutely crazy. So it's crazy, crazy weather, but there's a lot going on with, uh, with Turf Up Radio. We're going to get to all of that. I know that we got the Turf, we, we got the, the turf teacher here, uh, Eric Jones. A lot of cool stuff going on with him. I, but I, I reached out to him after talking to, to Scott uh, with Landscape by Acme. He told me, he says, Darren, I want to do products of the day. I want to start th- every day. I got, a, I got so many cool project, uh, products I want to bring on. I'm like, well, you know what? I need someone for lawn. I need someone for turf. And I thought, who better could hook us up with traffic on the turf than to trap with, with than the turf teacher himself? And we're going to be, and he's got a lot going on. We have a new show coming up that I'm really excited about with the, tra- with the turf teacher that, I, that he's going to tell you a little bit about as well. But we're going to do that. And we got traffic on the turf. We got products of the day and much, much more. We got a full hour of weekend review. This is going to be real cool. So hang on there, guys. We'll be right back. With, with all that and much, much more. Turf time, I'll tell you what, what time is it right now? Turf time right now is seven after nine. Hi, Scott from More Madness. Ferris allows you to experience turf care on a whole new level with soft ride stand on mowers. With their patent pending adjustable operator platform and suspension technology, these premium stand on mowers from Ferris let you work faster, take on more jobs, and finish the day feeling good. Step up to a new level of comfort and productivity with the SRS stand on series mower. Ferris, work hard, feel good. Go to ferrismowers.com for a dealer near you. Lawn Care Pros can now save 5% on 2019 steel green sprayer spreaders while supplies last. A new steel green machine can cut your labor in half with the capacity to spread granular and spray liquid products simultaneously. The SG52 is one of the most powerful and productive write-on sprayer spreaders on the market today with a 60-gallon spray capacity and 225-pound granular system. Looking for something smaller? The SG36 has all the power of our larger models but is compact enough to fit through a 36-inch residential gate. To learn more about steel green sprayer spreaders and to save hundreds on 2019 models, visit steelgreenmfg.com today. Hey, Green Industry Pros, are you new to Turf Surf Radio and want to learn more? Then plug in your earphones and keep listening because Turf Surf Radio invites you to listen while you work. Our 24 7 live radio platform keeps you up to date, bringing you new tips and interviews from pros like you who want to elevate and educate the green industry. Can't make it to industry shows or events? Don't worry, Turf Surf Radio will be there bringing you live coverage, getting you in on the action. So keep listening to Turf Surf Radio, your industry, your station. Time now for Traffic on the Turf, brought to you by Mosquito Magician, helping you navigate your way through weeds, pests, and disease. Loading your trucks with the products and tools you'll need to provide your clients with the healthiest lawns, trees, and shrubs. Now, here is today's Traffic on the Turf. Y'all ready to get funky? That's right. Turf teacher, this is all you, baby. Turf teacher, you are on. I tell you what. Thanks for thanks for coming on. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Um, we we need help. We need help with uh, we need help with our with our lawns. Even though it's 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 cold in most of the country, you it told me cold. <laughs> you told me yesterday that you're still doing some plugging and you're doing some stuff around the lawn too, right? Yeah, yeah. We finished up with most of our aeration jobs. We've got uh, we've got most of them finished up. We got one or two that we probably got left to do. Uh, but we're getting ready for you know doing our winterize uh, fertilize application here pretty soon. Uh, we're going to be using a thirty two zero six thirty percent Mesa fertilize for our winter uh, application. But um, you know what we're doing right now, Darren, we're putting up a ton of Christmas lights. So I love it. We, Tell me about we, that. Well, we started, uh, we started back in 1998. Um, we actually bought a franchise. It must uh, be a big learn. house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we started our, our actual um, Christmas side of the, the business back in 98 and uh, had a franchise. We were with the franchise system for 10 years and then uh, stepped away for a little bit. And as you know, I kind of had some military time in between that. And uh, when our non-compete was up, man, we were back into it full swing. 
And, uh, I mean, Christmas decorations is a big, big part of our business. I mean, we stay busy from mid-October uh, all the way up until Christmas, and then we've got about two months worth of taking the lights down in January or February. So we're kind of back and forth between doing our lawn care and doing our Christmas stuff. So, you know, we usually have to hire extra people this time of year uh, to kind of help us get the work done. Where, you know, you hear a lot of lawn care professionals, you know, maybe uh, kind of slowing down or, you know, kind of laying people off our business picks up with the Christmas lights. So we've, we've been really blessed with that. That's exactly right. That's exactly what I was going to say. When I growing up in the business, we didn't think about doing stuff like that. We didn't think about, yeah. we we left a lot of money on the table when we could be yep. making a lot of money. We were sleeping yeah. I, I yeah. Was, or I was on vacation. Yeah. I was visiting yeah. Florida, but yeah, you, you that's know, pretty cool that you do that. Yeah, and we you know in the occasional snow. I mean, we're here in North Carolina, Winston Salem, North Carolina. So, you know, our snow removal services just depends on you know the weather. I mean, we may go two years without a snow, but then we may have a winter that we have you know two or three snows. So it's it's kind of kind of iffy with our snow removal. So when we when we jumped in on the Christmas lights, it it really helped us out big time. So um, keep the 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 year round employees employed, and like I said, we have to pick up some part time help uh, this time of year as well to uh, to get all the lights done. So there was a lot of companies out there uh, at the GIE that I noticed that sell lights for you to install. Mm -hmm. uh, do, you, yeah. do you work with any of those companies that might have been there or, or do that? Yeah, kind of yeah. We, we get a lot of our lights from uh, Leco Electric uh, and, you know, the franchise that we were, you know, a part of, you know, they're there at the booth. We're still good friends with those guys. Uh, you know, and, you know, unfortunately, we just kind of had to, to step away for a little bit. Again, like I said, you know, with my military time, uh, in between there, it was, it was time to, to kind of back away. And, and plus with our, you know, we, we have a farm too. So we have a, you know, pretty good sized strawberry farm that, uh, the dad kind of took over and, and kind of managed that while I was gone. And then now that I'm back and my brother's back in the business, we're, we're into it full swing, uh, with the Christmas lights. Well, that's really so. cool. I appreciate, I appreciate you coming on. I want to yes, remind our listeners now that we got everybody here. Uh, you got a new show coming up. Uh, on yes, Turf Sub Radio, exclusive presentation of Turf Sub Radio. Now, it's really cool the way we came up with this idea. <laughs> I mean, I, I, if I could say so myself, right? Yeah, yeah. It, this, this, was, this was all you, Darren. You come up with, the, with that title. So I was, uh, I was tickled with it. So I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Well, so. let, let, me, let me remind everybody or announce everybody that the show that, um, listen, let's, let's go through this pr thought process, right? He's a turf teacher. He's a teacher. What do you call a teacher? You do call, and then some people think, oh, well, let me see. I call him a, a principal, maybe, maybe uh, so, whatever. You call a teacher by his name. You call a teacher <laughs> Mr. Jones. You're Mr. Yeah. Jones. And the cool thing about it in the landscape business and in the, in the, in the business that we're in, we're always keeping up with the Joneses. So why don't we just <laughs> keep up with Mr. Jones? So keeping I thought that up was with a, Mr. Jones. I love it because we are going to have to keep up with you in order to be educated yeah. and learn. And, and, and which that's what the most important part of it. And I'm really excited about that. I'm excited about what you have to bring to the table as far as on a week to week basis with Turfs Up Radio. We're so excited. We got a great sponsor that wants to that's going to support your show that really believes in you. Eric, yes, and I'm sir. really, I'm really cool. I'm really excited about that. But I love the I fact that you that. keep going, my friend. You keep yes, going. Sir. But, yes, uh, sir. Th thank you so much for joining in. And uh, so do yes, you have sir. any, have any advice on, on, on any, to, to our listeners about what they should be doing once, you know, just preparing for our lawns, getting it, getting it all done and ready for the winter? Well, like I said, you know, doing that winterization application, we're doing a 3206 uh, with a 30% uh, mess of fertilized. Um, and it really depends on where you're at in the country. Like I said, you know, we've got a couple of yards that we need to plug and seed. It's still getting a little cold for that right now. But, you know, we were lucky enough that uh, we do aeration. Uh, we do very little core aeration. So we had a very dry, dry summer. So we were able to start uh, with our, we still call it plugging and seeding, but we use an aerovator. And when we use that, it can break up concrete or asphalt. So when we put it on that hard, hard soil, uh, we were still able to get, get uh, you know, prepare a good seed bed for our customers. And then we had some rain, so our yards are they're looking pretty, pretty good right now. So well, we're, we're kind of what proud of it. What's an aerovator? It, aerovator, it's not a core plug. It's not going to pull the core plug. 
it's actually going to just sit down there and vibrate on the on the uh, on the ground. So you could literally set it down on four inches of concrete and bust up concrete. It's uh, wow. it's the Air Vader by First Products. Uh, we've been using them since mid '90s. Uh, it's really? just it's just a really really good machine. And the reason we went to that because, like I said, we will have those dry dry summers. And when it comes time to, uh, you know, putting out the seed in the fall, we, you know, we had to get something a little bit better. You know, yes, on our yards that are irrigated, you can still core plug and pull those cores. But, uh, you know, with the, with the dry summer we had this year, I mean, it, the ground was hard as a rock. So, That's it. But that air. I'm going to check that out. I, I never heard of it. And I've been in business for a long time. So if you guys yeah. out there didn't hear of it either, don't worry about it. We're going to find out more about that. Maybe we're going to get, we'll get uh, our product man, Scott. To, hook, to look for that and, and present yeah. that on one of our products of the day. Thank you so yes, much for joining me. I appreciate that. I appreciate yes, you coming sir. on. I, I'm going to let you get back to work because I know you're here. Right. <laughs> oh, by the way, real quick, before you do that, yeah. tell me how warm that jacket is. I love it. It looks good on you, by the way. It's 43 degrees here, and I'm warm. So That's this is this, – this, that, t- that turf up radio jacket, man, that keeps us warm out here. We're going to be offering those to our, li- to our listeners, too. So keep, stay tuned. A lot of good stuff going on. Thanks a lot, Turf Teacher. Appreciate that. Right. I look forward to your show, my friend. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. That was awesome. I love having, I love having, uh, having these guys on, bringing a lot of good insight. The end of mosquitoes begins here. Protecting the ones we love naturally is our highest purpose. To learn more about how Mosquito Magician can help your landscape and lawn irrigation business, visit MosquitoMagician.com. Hi, this is Scott with More Madness. Ferris takes care of you so you can take care of your customers. The Ferris line of ride-on spreader sprayers allows you to provide a personalized treatment for each of your clients. With stainless steel frames and granular liquid application options, Ferris spreader sprayers Scott's up next, right? With one size fits all applications. Scott's Visit up next. FerrisMores.com to find a dealer near you and ask for a test ride today. Ferris, work hard, feel good. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Frank Bork. More lawn care pros are working on their business rather than in them with the Lawn Buddy app. Lawn Buddy puts you in the driver's seat right along with your employees, helping you to guide them through their work while you focus on growth. With the Lawn Buddy app, you'll be more confident that work is being done and more money is being made faster. To learn how Lawn Buddy can help your lawn care business, visit lawnbuddy.com or simply download the Lawn Buddy app today. Great job, guys. Hey, Turf Step Radio fans, are you a green industry professional and want to share your experience and contribute what you've learned with our audience? Well, now you can. Turf Step Radio wants to hear from you. Simply go to turfstepradio.com and click become a contributor. Fill out our contact form and you'll be on your way to being a part of the only radio station dedicated to the entire green industry. That's turfstepradio.com forward slash become a contributor. And remember, Turf Step Radio, your industry, your station. Scott, with more madness, Red Max chainsaws allow landscapers and tree care professionals to cut through any workload. Red Max's clean technology reduces fuel emissions and consumption, while turbo air cleaning keeps your filter from getting clogged. With great ergonomics, anti-vibration, and winning power-to-weight ratio, Red Max outcuts the competition. With an industry-leading one-year commercial warranty and ability to combine with other Red Max products to build your own fleet package, why would you consider any other chainsaw? Visit RedMax.com for a dealer near you and to learn more more about our comprehensive product lineup. You own a business and want it to be the best it can be. Of course I do. That means you need to offer the best products available. Sounds great, but how do I find them? The good news is you can rely on the guys at Turf Sub Radio to keep you up to date on all the latest and top products. Good to know. What do you got? Well, here's a product we found that will make your clients happy and your competition envious. Uh, well, welcome back to Turf Up Radio's Week in Review. I'm your host, Aaron Gruner, and I am live in the Turf Up Radio studios in always, always West Palm Beach, or actually Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I'm trying to uh, unmute my boy, Scott. I don't know if I can here for some reason. I, oh, there you go. I think I'm good. Right, Scott, can you hear me, bud? Okay, good. You can hear me. So what I'm going to do, this is going to be interesting. So we all know that um, we're trying, we're doing this Facebook, YouTube, trying to get the weekend review, reminding people that we're on the radio, live on the radio right now, 
but we're doing the Facebook, we're co coordinating everything, and I'm trying to figure this out. So you're gonna bear with me, but this is gonna be cool, because what I'm gonna do is I have a way to, this is, the technology today is amazing. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to actually, uh, see if I, if I lost, nope, I didn't lose myself here. So I'm gonna actually share my screen and show the product that Scott's about to sh talk about, right? So talk to me, Scott. Tell me about this thing. What is, what's up with this incredible bottle? It's pretty cool. Oh, it is pretty cool. Uh, I was giving a talk to a couple guys from the green industry about a couple months back before GIE, and they told me about the incredible bottle. So I kind of, you know, went and approached the owner of it and kind of heard his story, kind of tested one of his equip pieces of equipment, and he gave me a piece of equipment to test. and. We've been putting it through the ringers. I mean, I like to drop equipment on a, a, a weekly basis, and we've dropped it. We've ran it over. We filled it up. We, you know, it's a good product to have. Uh, you know, it straps to a weed whip. It straps to a blower. It straps to a, a 20 inch. This product works. You know, for that extra time that you use gas, that you ran out of gas. I mean, we have a job that we weed whip for six hours straight, and that's three, four times we're going back to the truck to get gas, and this helps out. I mean, it's only 16 ounces of gas, but, hey, that helps out an extra hour of time of not having to go back to get gas. So, I mean, well, this is awesome. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, uh, to let Jeff talk, too, because I know that this would probably – if I can unmute Jeff, I'm not sure how do I – I'm going to try to do this, Jeff. For some reason, I can't, I can't do – oh, there you go. Is that, are you? I got ready? it. Is, I unmuted. Okay. Is that better? All right, good. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Oh, you can unmute yourself. That's good. I can unmute um, myself. So I, I want to tell you something that I, as soon as I saw this with the, with the little gas, it's a gas tank, right? It's like a little extra reserve yep. tank basically, right? Oh, he's got one. Scott's got one. Yep. Yep. Well, it's actually wow. a little reserve tank that you could put. And I saw that it was right on that Arctic cat. <laughs> and I said, that's a just got, <laughs> just got one of them. Oh, and yeah. I bet you, how many times have you, could, could you, could you have had that? Could you have used that, that Jeff? Yeah, you know, ex extend your range when you're out there running around through the mountains. That's for sure. Um, it's nice. You know, it's always good to have the reserve oh, yeah. on the uh, on the machine. But even then, when you get on the reserve, you might not make it back to camp without something like that. That's really cool. I tell you right now, my cousins, we probably everybody would have one of those on their quad. If they I, could spend oh, yeah. more time in the woods, that's what they would have for sure. It, yeah, it comes think, in handy a lot. I think that's pretty cool. You have all these, you must have a garage like Jeff. I mean, you have all these toys. <laughs> you oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you must. So how many times have you had to use this thing? Uh, like I said, since we've gotten it from GIE, we've used it every <laughs> week. So, I mean, we use it, like I said, we have a job that we we went for six hours straight. So, wow. I mean, it's, it's come in handy every time we've gone to that since GIE. And, you know, it's it's helped out. You're talking – you know, that's a good hour of walking back to the truck because we're only we have to park at least five miles away from our farthest point. So it's it's a big walk, you know. And if you don't have to walk that to get the gas, it helps out a lot. Think about it. You know, how many times have I using battery powered equipment, having have, wanting an extra couple of batteries to to so that just in case I run out of, so you don't have to go back to the truck or go back and charge. It's the same thing. Gas is still around. I mean, you're still using gas equipment. That's you still right. need to have this thing. Why not have a, an extra power source? Battery on your phone, battery for your machine, power, you know, gas for your equipment. I mean, this is a great, it's a great little tool. It's really oh, neat. Yeah. I mean, how do they, they come up with these, all these really crazy products. I you know? have no idea, but whoever come up with a lot of this stuff is awesome because it, this is, like I said, this has helped out immensely in our business now. What's, so. it, what, what's the capacity of that thing? 16 uh, 16 ounces. 16 ounces yep. okay yep that's excellent hmm. yep that's like a bottle of water right it's a bottle yep. it's, 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 it's a velcro it's a velcro strap around it velcro to the machine yep there's two velcro straps on there that strap on as you can see right here oh wow and they just strap right on the, and it goes right on the, the wee whip can go right there if you got a straight bottom line it'll hook right onto it like that and the straps will velcro but, right around it of course it's of course it's nice. Of course it works. Of course it, it makes sense, right? Because why right. why wasn't this done a long time ago, you know? Correct. It, I mean, it's, we're it's gonna buy a couple more. Of, it's only the the extra extra weight that you have on it is only sixteen ounces. I mean they could have gone right. much bigger, right. but then it's right. gonna be more it's gonna be heavier to carry it around. Correct. So sixteen Correct. ounces is 
is enough to get it's you It's nothing, you really. Well, you can strap a couple yeah. of them on. Uh, I mean, it looks like you could strap a couple of them on, you know, the machine spread the weight out, too. So that's nice. Right. You don't want I to mean, bring it too many around. You could right. probably, on a, like a 20 <laughs> inch or so, you could probably put about two or three on each side. And, and, you know, you got pretty much a whole good gallon or so of gas extra for, you know, if you're mowing a big property with a smaller mower. So comes in handy. Wow. I like it. I like that. Hey, listen, this is just the beginning of what Scott's going to be bringing us, right? Scott, you're, you're planning. This is, this is what you're going to do. Every week we're going to get Scott on. He's going to bring us a bunch of different products, things that we've never even thought of. I mean, there's, there's a lot of products out there that you guys know of already. And, you know, and, you, and, you, and it's like, it's, I remember, I remember when I was doing uh, turf up radio up in New Jersey, when I first started, I was doing the show and I had the guys that were producing my stuff, the kids that were producing my shows. They, I'm like, come up with a product. And every week they were coming up the same stupid pruner. <laughs> and, I, and I'm like, wait, all we need, all we need, there's Aubrey. Hi, Aubrey. All we need is, a, um, is, is something unique on a, on a weekly basis. It's all we need. So make sure that, make sure that we do that, okay? Uh, let's see yep. what happened. I got. I have to share my screen. There's a lot of cool equipment out there. I'll tell you that it's crazy. So yeah. it'll be. This ought to be interesting. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's good. So. Oh yeah. Hey, but that that was a that's a great product and um, um, and and we we look forward to getting more products from you uh, on a weekly basis, Scott. And we're gonna try to do this visual thing if I can get better at it. <laughs> like, I don't know. We'll see what it looks like anyway. If I can get better yeah. at it, we'll try to make it so it works. It works better for you. So uh, I appreciate that very much. Thanks a lot for coming on with, uh, and you can hang in by the way, if you want to hang on, you can. Yep. That's yeah, if you fine. want to, that's, that's great. Well, looks, we like he's driving. Driving. looks like he's driving somewhere. I don't know. No, I'm we'll, actually, we'll, uh, I'm sitting we'll, on my property. It's a little cold out here. It's 30 degrees out here in Ohio. So oh, is just, that you're in Ohio right now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it deer yeah, season so. out there? Is it buck season right now? Not yet. Gun season comes up in a couple of weeks, but I mean, yep. we've been already bow hunting. So, I mean, it's, it's well, been a good. You guys keep talking. We'll be right back. The turf, side radio, turf time right now is, is 930. So you're in Ohio, you said? Yep. Yep. Uh, yep so it's bow season now, but um, when does rifle open up for, out there for you guys? It's right around Thanksgiving time. So. Yeah, ours. I go to Pennsylvania to a camp in PA, and um, okay. ours is that well, it's actually Saturday now after Black Friday. It used to be Monday, and now they moved it up to Saturday to get, to get more hunters Sounds in the good. woods. At Turf Sup Radio, we've okay. got your back. I can't wait for it. That's today's the today's opening day of duck season, and I couldn't go out today because my daughter is in the hospital. She got an appendix. She had her appendix removed oh, yesterday. Wow. But yours doesn't have to be. Jeez. Uh, that's yes. Awesome. So my granddaughter. I'm watching. I'm I'm watching my granddaughter. My my wife and my daughter are in the hospital right now. By woodworkers. Hey, hi. Wave to that. Papers and more. iTunes merges high quality audio, noise blocking earplugs, allowing you to appreciate your music while no, you're not. Mommy is. Visit iTunes.com. So yeah, I'm. Um, uh, I couldn't make uh, a Hey, this is Darren, your host of Raise the Mic here on yeah. Turf Surf Radio. Be sure yeah. not to miss a new episode. My lab is all morning, morning at 9 a.m. He's crazy. He's pissed off right now, too. <laughs> another great industry professional like you. You'll hear I how bet. others got started in the business, how they've achieved success, and best of all, how you can learn from their experience. That's Raise the Mic every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. And remember, Turf Surf Radio, your industry, your station. Yeah. Julie with Mower Madness. Red Max is rapidly becoming the brand of choice for professional Darren? cutters. Industry leading commercial Darren? warranties of up to five years it's on Darren commercial right DTRs, there. two years on all commercial handheld products, and one year on commercial chainsaws. Combined with an unmatched opportunity to participate in fleet buys on powerful and dependable Red Max products, is propelling Red Max to the top. Get on board today. Visit RedMax.com to learn how our Stratocharge okay. engine delivers more power with less weight than any Changing other the cycle engine. That's RedMax.com. <laughs> Welcome back to Turf Up Radio's weekend review. If you're missing the Facebook, you're missing a little cute, the cutest little girl, Aubrey. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her. Darren, say good morning. Good morning. Good Darren, morning. Say, say, say good morning, Darren. Good morning, Darren. Look at that. That's, that's Aubrey. Uh, I, I, it's Jeff Hasser's granddaughter. You're a grandpa, you know. Yeah, it's crazy, huh? Just, just want you to know that. Just, just let you know. And then Sabrina's calling from the hospital right now. Uh, well, you better make sure she's okay. I know. Yeah. But uh, hey, listen, hey, what's up, hon? We got. I'm gonna. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to mute Jeff. There you go. Mute Jeff's muted now. So uh, this is good. So we got a lot. We got a lot of stuff going on with uh, Turf Up Radio. Like I talked to you about, we have 
uh, the turf teacher is going to be excited. We're excited about that show alone. Uh, we're, we're working on so many things. If you haven't heard from us on a regular basis, it's not because we've disappeared. We are working really hard on bringing you the latest and greatest. You know, we did a really good interview, by the way. We got an interview coming up next Sunday with Brian Horn. Brian Horn is the, uh, is the editor of Lawn and Landscape Magazine. You got to check that out because a lot of you guys are asking me, Darren, should we go to this technology conference in Orlando? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should go. And I don't know if, I, 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 I'm gonna see if I can try to go back and unmute Scott. I can't, you're gonna have to unmute yourself, I think, Scott. I can't, I can't figure out how to do that. But there you go. But I'm here. I hope you're gonna join us at the it technology might happen. conference. I mean, I it think- It might happen. I think it's important to go. Listen, it's in Orlando for crying out loud. You yeah. know, it's the, right. the city, the city of, of fun of, uh, you know, we can all, we can all take a day. If we come down a day early, we can all go to universal studio. We should do that as we, as a bunch of grown adults, grown kids. <laughs> right. Let's just go, Jeff. You have to unmute yourself, buddy, but come on, in, come okay. on in and enjoy the conversation. Yep. But let's go to Orlando. Let's spend a day at, 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 uh, at Universal or stu at Universal Studios, and go on all. They don't have Back to the Future there anymore, do they? That ride, but they got some. They got a lot of cool stuff going on. Why don't we go do that as a bunch of just guys from Turf Up Radio? Just go raise havoc. <clears throat> I haven't been down there since my senior year in high school. <laughs> you got to. Are you going to come to the technology? You're going to come down, right? Did you get a? Are you getting a booth down there? Yeah. Uh, well, here's the thing. Um, I have open houses for my biggest distributor that week. Aquarius Supply has their open houses that week, so I have to attend the four open houses that week in New Jersey, Maryland, Virginia, Pennsylvania. They already they already scheduled it out in uh, it was in February, correct? Yeah, but do you know what date it? What date? Uh, it is? No, there's only a they're the days. same date as the technology conference. Uh, well, we'll just have fun without you. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm, I was blown. Unless I can get someone from Cast Lighting to cover for me. I might, maybe I'll get someone else to cover it for me. When do you get, when do you get Greg to go out there? Or get, why don't you get Matt to well, go Matt out there? Well, Matt will be there. Matt will be down there for sure. Oh, he'll be in Orlando. Yes, I'll get Matt. Oh, well, then he'll, then he'll yeah. come down and he'll hang out with us. Right. A little I don't bit. think I can make it though. <clears throat> I think, I think Turf Teacher is still with us. I was going to say, what's Eric? Where is he? In some big, looks like he's at a big uh, arena or something. What's he up to? Watching a wrestling match or something? Like Jeff, uh, Eric, you got to unmute yourself, buddy, because I, you know, for Is some he reason. wrestling match or something? There you go. I got you. I got you. Oh, okay. Hey, where man. are you? What are you doing? He's you look like are you wrestling. <laughs> where, where are you? Turn, turn uh, your camera around so we can see what you're doing. You gotta, you, what are you doing? I am actually at my daughter's swim meet. Oh, oh cool. Okay. <laughs> and I'm trying to let's see. <laughs> This is pretty cool. So Eric, Eric is hanging out. Ready? This is what we do on the weekends. We got we got people from all parts of the country. We're at a swim meet. In, where are you? Where are you in in uh, in North Carolina? South Carolina? Yes. North yeah, Carolina. we're in North Carolina, Winston Salem. In Winston Salem. Okay, you're in a swim meet, and we got and we got Scott for all the way from Ohio. Is there any snow on the yeah. ground? Can you show us any snow? We're by the way, just so you know. Oh yeah. Oh look at that! Oh, look at that! Look at that! <laughs> By the way, we have teamed up with the Weather Pros. So next week, you will be hearing and getting all the latest weather. And you guys know you're snow guys, right? You guys have plowed snow right. for a long time. Oh, yeah. So you know you don't rely on the local weather, do you? No. You got a snow, you got a, you got a company that you call to find out what's happening in your area, right? Do yep. either of you use the Weather Pros? Nope, never have. Well, well, they're going to be joining us. They're partnering up with Turfstar Radio. They will be available for you as a contributor so that you can gain all the information, the inside information of what really, what, what snow is really to come. Right. As, as if they have a crystal ball. Do nice. they really? They must. They, I mean, these I guys so. know what they're doing. <laughs> so, unfortunately, unfortunately um, Rob was sick today. I'm really bad. I mean, obviously, he can't get on the radio with no voice, right? This guy's right. been doing weather for 25 plus years. He's actually out of our area, Jeff. I should oh. say our, not mine anymore, but the Northeast. Out of the Northeast and uh, Southern New Jersey knows Gloucester County very well. Which That's is where I live. That's the county I live in. <laughs> and, right. That, oh, by the way, there was a shooting. There was a shooting in Gloucester at a football game last night in Pleasantville. I, I read that this morning. Yeah. 
I don't know what, what happened. but High school got, football game, a couple of guys shot each other in the stands. You got to follow Gee. up on, on that and find out exactly what happened there because yep. that's not good. There, obviously, there was a, we, you know, our hearts go out to the people in Cal, the, the kids in California. Two, two kids were killed at another shooting you know, in, in California, another school shooting. If you guys didn't hear about that, did you guys hear about that? That happened a couple days ago, um, and uh, and they and the guy turned his he was a 15 year old kid. He turned his gun on himself. Um, we don't want to talk about bad stuff, but you got to be careful out there. Well, people right? need to listen. People need to lock their guns up from their kids. That's the problem. What's what's going on with these people? Yeah. Come on, that's just irresponsible. Look, there's my gun safe right there. Look at it. See that? So Aubrey can't get to it. No one can get to it. He couldn't push that thing if she tried. <laughs> that thing that thing's got to be 10 tons. That that. <laughs> That thing's not going anywhere. The house is going to burn down. That's going to be still sitting there. It's bolted to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. 1,200 pounds and bolted to the floor. It? Summer's swimming over there. I ain't going That's, nowhere. Yeah, that, Summer's that, over there. That's crazy. But listen, we got a lot of, we got a lot of cool stuff going on. I want to talk about the, uh, the, the technology conference coming up in a minute when we come back. I want to talk about that. Talk about what's to gain from all four of your perspectives. I want to find out what you would expect when you went to this technology conference, let's make sure that that's got exactly what's going to happen. Okay. We got that and much, much more right after this. Turf time right now is, I don't know, it's 937. It's great. Hey, Eric, can you hear me? Yeah, man. So uh, your daughter, she's on the swim team. Yeah. Yeah. What is, what is she, what's her specialty? Does she have a certain thing or is she a like breaststroke or back? What is just, her her best is the butterfly. That's, oh, that's her shit. favorite. That's the yeah. toughest one too. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's uh, good. On landscape business, that you must be in really good shape. The lifestyle you've always. I'm not. She is. No, oh, she, she, she must be really good shape. With the <laughs> yeah. green executives, I'm far from that. Through your daily operations, that swimming will is the best workout ever, man. From the really developing is. a seasonal marketing plan to outlining new processes and procedures, we can do it all. We specialize in how to properly screen a new client, how to efficiently schedule your busy workload, and best of all, we teach you so how Danielle's to Danielle's okay. Her operation went good. Uh, we have Darren proven successful all, strategies on how to help manage afternoon. and maintain your best employees, make deals with vendors, and strengthening your client relationships. Log on to thegreenexecutive.com today. We can give you the help you need to find the success you've always dreamed of. Scott with more madness here. Aches and pains are trophies. They're just barriers. Sydney's down there now. And getting the work done. You know better than anyone. Dad, this business can Sydney be Sydney now. That's all the more reason to partner with someone who has your back. Ferris is about helping you finish strong and feel good doing it. Ferris commercial grade mortgage feature patented suspension technology that allows you to mow faster. That's crazy the technology. He's at a swim. He's at a swim meet. Feel good and he's can Ferris, see you on the radio. Gotta yeah. love it. Go to FerrisMortgage.com <laughs> for a dealer near you. Total Scape uh, Design will transform your home into a vacation spot. You can enjoy next Saturday. I'm going to be in my duck line. And I'm going to go live from my duck line. Decks, pools, that. Waterfalls, outdoor lighting, <laughs> open nice. air kitchens, grilling areas, and more. The results are stunning. We'll bring my laptop on the boat with Design's my hotspot. Go to totalscapedesign.com. <laughs> Welcome back to Turf Up Radio's Weekend Review. I'm your host, Darren Gruner, and I got a star-studded cast here today. Star-studded cast. If you're watching Facebook and you're watching YouTube, you're, you're seeing us live, I hope. I don't even, I don't know if I'm doing it right. I hope I am. We'll find out. If not, we'll, we'll put it on there. But I got a star-studded cast here. We don't, we're stars, we just don't know it yet. All right, guys. We got we got landscape by Acme, Scott. We got Eric, turf teacher, keeping up with Mr. Jones, and we got the one and only Jeff Hessa. What's up, guys? Oh. Try, I'm trying. I, I hope I'm doing a good job. You know, this is this is pretty crazy. I happen to be stuck in a studio by myself. Do you like my background? Yeah. When do we get one of those? You guys want your own background? You got to stay. You got to stay put. <laughs> it's pretty cool, huh? I, yeah. I got to. I, I see. It's actually on the wrong side. It's mirrored. It's really cool. Technology today is freaking awesome. Speaking about technology, I love the segues. 
Speaking about technology, Lawn and Landscape Magazine, I want you guys to go. I want you guys to go so badly that when you do go and you do sign up, everybody, all of our listeners, you put a promo code, Turfs Up, 10%. Ooh, coming off the top. That's great. 10% coming off the top. That's how cool that is. I got a little screaming, little, little Aubrey. No, it's not Aubrey. That, that wasn't Aubrey? Oh, nope. there must be somebody swimming. Yeah, it's a swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> Either case, it doesn't matter. That's a swimmer. She didn't want to go. She right. didn't want to swim. She didn't want to, she didn't want to swim. <laughs> that's, all the, that's all the cheering going on for his daughter right now. That's right. But I'll tell you what. Um, this technology conference is going to be cool. It's not huge. And I want you guys to know that. It's not, you know, people say, well, I don't want to go. There's only going to be 400 people there. Uh, that's why you should go. <laughs> There's only right. going to be 400 people there. You know what I mean? The, the, because now you'll, have, you'll, you'll be able to focus on the things that are important to you in technology. You've got to learn about technology. The world today is technology. Look, I'm trying to prove it to you by doing it like this, by doing a radio <laughs> show like this, I'm trying to show you that not only can I be live on the radio right now, which we are broadcast all over the world on a radio, we're also broadcasting to whoever wants to watch us on Facebook and YouTube. I didn't see it pop up on Facebook though. I didn't right, so that it. I screwed so that I screwed up. Yeah, I didn't see it. I, I didn't get it. I didn't get a notice that you were live. So it, it something's not working right now. Just there. so you know, just so you know, I, it's all right. We'll put it on and it'll be whatever it is what it is, but I'll figure it out. But technology is what's to come. And it's, yeah. it's what's it, it's what it's what you're going to be relying upon, you know. I mean, not a hundred percent, pretty close. Scott, your idea, you know, tell me about your 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 feelings about that. It'd be nice to go because I think you know technology is uh you know something that's going to keep going in the world. Uh, you know, you got all these robotic mowers coming out nowadays, which is all you know run by technology. Look at, you know, look at some of the irrigation systems are all Wi-Fi enabled systems anymore yep. so yep. you know it's it's technology is going to be the thing of the future and it's if you're not with it now you're going to be lagging behind so yeah. i mean you got to start with it now and keep going with it so and as we do that scott i mean i'm going to put a lot on you because you told me that you want to do this you know oh, yeah. and I, I mean just so you know right jeff if i hold you accountable yeah i'm going to i'm going to put this on you you tell me don't tell me that you want to get involved because i'm going to get you involved and, oh, I'm ready. And and you're going by hook or crook. He's going to get you involved. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And I and it's important. And I and I want to because I want to make a promise to our listeners that they're going to find if they they don't have to go search, right for for new innovative stuff. Nope. They're not going to. I'm not going to. We're not going to ever bring up a pruner, ever. No. <laughs> there won't be no pruners. Don't unless worry. It, listen, unless it's hooked to a <laughs> drone and it's going out. And right, it's right, right, right. <laughs> right. Exactly. Right. I want I want you to make a promise to our listeners that every week you're going to bring something new and innovative until you run out of it. So, uh, I will mean, till I can't. <laughs> till I got to go back to the pruner. <laughs> you got to yeah. go back. If, if we go back to the pruner, we went back to the old days. We went. That's back. right. Start, we had to start all over again. So make oh, sure that happens. I'm going to hold you oh, accountable, my friend. Sounds thank good. You, thank you so much for joining us. And, and you're, 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 you're an official co-host, product of the day specialist for Turf Surf Radio. And I'm really excited to have you. Eric Jones, tell us a little bit about what you think going into this technology conference, what you expect to gain. Uh, I'm really looking forward again to seeing all the software that's out there, but I feel like I'm pretty much using some of the best software that's already out there. Uh, but I always want to see the new updates uh, on the products that we're already using. So um, that that's my, my little niche that I love about everything that's going on. Not only the, the electric mowers and uh, you know, the, the battery powered weed eaters and hedge yeah. clippers and stuff, but I, I really get into the software, the design software, the, Accounting software. That's where I, where I love seeing. Well, I want to say something. Again. I love that you said that. I love that you said that you believe you've got the best right now, and yeah. but, you're, but you're still open minded. And I tell you what, yeah. how many times? And I've been like this. I, I've been using QuickBooks since the inception of QuickBooks. Really, I mean, that's because that was always the for me. It just it worked. They didn't have everything as far as you know. All, they don't have a tailor to the green industry, but they 
they integrate with, with things that are tailored to the green industry. Yes. And, and then we went over to QuickBooks Online and there were so many other programs that wanted my business. They, they, they looked appealing. They, you know, I can't, uh, there's, there's, I can't remember the software, but I, I still kept my mind and said, well, you know what, maybe it's time to leave QuickBooks and go. And I'm always on that. You always got your, want, your foot out because you just want to be better. And you can't rely solely on them telling you that they're the best. So you have to keep going and you have to find out for yourself. So it's yes. that important to go. And I love that you did that. I love that you said that. It's that important for you to go and okay. really find out one second whether or not you've got the best software or the best technology. Yeah. That's good. And set that, go to their booth, sit there with them. They'll pull it up on a laptop and you can play around with the interface and yeah, that's what we did at GIE too. So that's a, yeah. you know we made a big switch at GIE this year. So did you? Uh, wow, yeah. you didn't expect that, did you? you no, nah, and it, you know, well, there, there was there was there was there was two companies that I wanted to see up there, and I and I got to see them, and I compared it. We we used the software a couple of years ago. We didn't feel like it was right for us, so we switched again. But uh, we made we made the commitment this time uh, to uh, to go with our our accounting and scheduling software. And like I said, you know. Darren, we use QuickBooks for years, and uh, I love the desktop version of QuickBooks. I'm not a such a big fan of the online part of it, but uh, some of these other tailored software programs that's tailored to our industry work so much better uh, with the online platforms. And then, like really? I said, you can integrate it with you know QuickBooks. That's interesting, and that you're right. There is that aspect to QuickBooks. I noticed that, but for me. I'm online. It's easier for me. I, everything I do is technology based. Yeah. I don't. I don't have any paperwork. Everything I do, my contracts are signed online. As a matter of yeah. fact, I won't. Yeah. I won't si send a piece, piece of paper to sign it. Oh I'm no! Oh no! Bring yeah. a pen with me. So <laughs> yeah. So it's really right. That's that's important to do. But uh, thank you guys. Bring your very much. <laughs> That's right. 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 I don't even have one of those. I, I don't uh, even have one of those. My phone's still you. small. It's still small. But hey, I'm going to let you guys go. Both of you, uh, Scott and Eric. We're going to talk again during the course of the week. Uh, Scott, you're, you're on board, bud, every week, my friend. And yeah. for now, I don't have anybody else doing traffic on the turf, so I guess you're stuck with us, uh, Eric. Hey, I'm fine with it. I love it. <laughs> All right. That's, uh, that sounds good. All right, guys. Hi, I'm going to let you guys go. Jeff, I want to talk Later. to you, though, real quick to end the show. Guys, have a great Saturday, man. Have fun today. Be careful yeah. out there, all right? There you go, Jeff. I want to talk to you about about your tech. Now, so you're not you you're, you got something else going on with. Um... Unless I can push my schedule, change something around, have someone cover for me up here, I probably won't be there. But I'll have Matt. Uh, will be there. Okay. 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 All right. Well, that's good. Well, I appreciate that. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for joining us, Jeff. Always a pleasure. You're always welcome. Just like the guys, come back to Weekend Review. There's a lot to talk about every week. A lot of great stuff happening with Turf Surf Radio. Remember, the people that are listening, that are watching this, you can download the Turf Surf Radio app and listen to us streaming live 24-7. We have all of our shows are wrapped up in, in, uh, in a podcast, just like uh, we have, our, we have um, uh, the Raise the Mic, We Can Review, and you can get on-demand notices, Mower Madness, Executive Lounge. We all Road, have, they're all podcasts. Road fuel, yeah, Road Fuel. Road Fuel, all the great stuff to go on. So if you wanted to listen to them individually, if you missed anything like that, you can get notice, notifications of that. Make sure you do. Turf Up Radio, it's all about you guys. It's all about our, uh, the people that are in the industry. If you want to get involved, you can go to turfsupradio.com, become a contributor. Guess who's going to reach out to you? You're Jeff, Jeff Hesser. Jeff's going to yeah. reach out. He's going to talk to you about how you want to get involved. Everybody's going to have to have a why. Why do you want to be involved? We all do. Why are you in business, right? Because you want to promote yourself. You and want what's your better. specialty? What, and what's your niche in the market sometimes? Some guys have a specialty that people need to know about. And we, yeah. want, to, we want to know what your successes are and how you uh, run your operations and, you know, and, and what your specialty is in the industry. Exactly. So we're going to make sure that you guys are set up and ready to rock and roll Create that credibility, that validity within your customers by being on the only radio station dedicated to the green industry, being a part of us. We want you to be a part of us. We want, we want that. So, so just make sure you guys always remember that. This is your industry, your station, right? That's right, Jeff. All right, bigger well, and better. Bigger, and better, right, bigger and better things. That's right. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Well, everybody, you know what time it is? Yep, that's right. It's time to say goodbye until next week. I want to thank everybody for listening to Turf Surf Radio's Weekend Review. For Jeff Hesser, for Scott and Eric, 
for product of the day and turf teacher, ir irrespectively, because I screwed that up, of course. Right, don't worry. Don't forget about our Geo Ripper. Right? Oh, yeah, for Geo Ripper. That's right. right. I'm your host, Darren Gruden. A badass piece of equipment. you to stay green and to keep your hands dirty. Talk to you guys soon. This has been an exclusive presentation of Turf Sub Radio's Weekend Review. To hear more about what's happening each week in the green industry, be sure to download. You ready for breakfast? Twenty-four seven app. You hungry? Turf Sub Radio. You hungry? And remember, I gotta go feed Aubrey now. <laughs> Say, Darren, I'm hungry. There we go, Jeff. Good. That I love that background. That's pretty cool. I gotta tell you, that's wild. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah I can hear you. It's can so you hear funny. Me? Yes. Oh, I, wait, I wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Why can't you? Why can't I hear you now? Oh. I'm not muted. The. <laughs> I can see the ceiling fan. Uh oh. What? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. Can you hear me now?